So yeah, it's Bjorn here and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about a little something about the creative side of photography and how I view it as a visual exercise. Now, most of the time, especially when we're starting out, we get too caught up in gear. Like what lens we have to use, what camera bodies we should have, what's the latest upgrade in the market, what that camera is capable of, when in reality, it all boils down to what you are capable of, the one controlling it behind the lens. Now I get it, gear matters to a certain extent, but that shouldn't in any way stop you from creating. So if you're at that point in your life where you do not have access to the gear you need yet, you can still grow and develop as a photographer. And one way you can do this is by studying people. Now, I'm sure we all have photographers or different artists we look up to. What you can do is study them, but go beyond just the technical aspect. Instead of just looking at what lens they put on on their camera, try to see the lens in which they see the world, or in other words, their perspective and their process. And by studying this, by looking at this, you'll have a different angle on how you see the world, and this will eventually help you grow and develop as a photographer. And if you take photography back to its roots, you'll see that it's all about recognizing good light. Photography is light writing or writing in light. That's all photography is. And with that being said, it supports the statement that it really doesn't matter what camera you're using or if it's the newest or the latest model out there or if you have a complete focal length set or if you're simply just using your phone to take photos. If you really want to develop and grow as a photographer or as an artist, what you can do is improve the way you see things like recognizing good light in different places, in different circumstances, and using whatever you can at the moment, in this moment, to capture it. Which brings me to the point, and probably the most important one in this video, is to go out there and shoot. Not literally go out there and shoot, but more like get yourself out there or... <laughs> So yeah, I have it. And it's to keep shooting more. Because the more you shoot, the more you learn. And the more you learn, the chances are the more you progress and grow over time. So yeah, I guess that's all the brain parts I have left for today. Just a little recap before we wrap this video up. Don't get too caught up in gear. Develop the way you see things like recognizing good light. Study your heroes but go beyond just the technical aspect and to keep shooting. Now this episode has been like a mini excerpt from the time I was invited to speak at Pecha Kucha where I shared about visual storytelling. Now it's actually part of a bigger series which I call Behind the Lens where I talk about the technical and creative process of my photography like one I didn't live to create. There's also one where I talked about the role of photography in media and communication and storytelling in the landscape of business and social media. So yeah, if you want to see me talk more about it in the future or if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, maybe give it a like or subscribe or share it to a friend. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye! It's been like an excerpt. Also storytelling in the landscape of social. More into those things. Let me know.